Greetings, dear beautiful spirit soul that you are. You know, it's crispy out here in the greatness of nature. It feels so good. And, you know, when I started looking at where was the greatest bliss in my life, it was always in nature or with my children and also teaching. But it was that, and all, all of those happening in nature. And there is such support. My topic, get out of your own way. You know, always thinking if we can get other people out of our way, we'll be fine. But what we're going to do is keep bringing forth those same kind of situations because we tend to be creatures of habit. And we follow these patterns, just like everything in the material world, they're patterns. And you can, you can watch and see patterns forming, and it, it tells you what people's concepts are, and what, they're, they're, what they believe, what they are accepting, what they're focusing on, you see. And to get out of your own way, here's the key. You have to know that obstructions are constructions, you see. An, um, an obstruction, something obstructing you, is a construct. It is a fabrication, in a sense, um, a concept, idea. It's a thought. It's a belief, you see. And when you really get that this is what this is all about, you really see that that is one of the very powerful things of what we call metaphysics or ancient teachings. Uh, is the that that basic teaching of the power of this mind or this this these thoughts and these beliefs so to get out of your own way you have to let go of those constructs that are blocking you stopping you uh, bringing sickness poor health or whatever it may be into your experience and see that as a, a lie. It is not the truth. And when you know the truth, the truth sets you free. And you are the truth, you see. That's the truth. Not a concept, not an idea. You. Getting out of your own way, it takes you looking within your own system, this, this mind, conscious, subconscious, unconscious, all these fragmented so-called parts of self, which mm -mm, mm -mm, you're a wholeness. And the, the false is always fragmented. Uh, it's compartmentalized, it's bureau-wised, you see, because it's false. It's worked on enforcement. And constructs are also enforced. And then that means that when you're so-called normal, according to that, you're doing what most people are doing, but most what people are doing are following the constructs that are obstructing them in the free expression of their true divine nature. And you take a look at what those, those thoughts are, those beliefs, those concepts, um, that you're using to stop you. It's like, it take anything at all, anything at all. We say, well, I'd like to live forever in my physical body, but why would you limit yourself like that? Activate your divine spiritual body, and then you really have really no focus on, what would you say, a physical self, because you're being your true self. And as you're being your true self, you are not obstructed in that. See, if you're not being who you are, you have a construct to say it's not okay to be that way. It's wrong to be that way. There's something wrong with you. You're not good enough. That's the basic thing. You're not good enough. What do you mean good enough? And, and good enough for you to like me? What does that mean? How what does that curtail that you live your life for that other person every single moment? Well, we really are in the sense because... However, whatever your con whatever your constructs are, whatever those belief systems are that you're operating with, those are all obstructions. And yes, I'm saying there, there, you, there. Truth is there. You are because you are truth, 
and what, what there is knowledge there that helps us to remember who we are and return in our own realization and knowingness of who we, we are in every single moment. You're not the past. You're not those stories. You're not those characters. You're not the roles you're playing. We're not a, we are pure love, you know, and what is so amazing with love, love is such a purity. And, and what this is, and people say, well, you know, the opposite of love is fear. That's a lie. Because you're putting fear equal to love. No, there's lust. And there's, in this world, it's called rog and vish, like and dislike. And that, that lust is to try and, and, and get pleasure from someone else's misery and unhappiness. To take from another. And envy is the disease of humankind infected with a mind virus that sucks up their life force and produces a false reality that that person believes is who they are, real and true, so they live and experience it as if it is. And then they prove it by their experience. Well, that must be true. Yeah, because you have the construct of a concept of a thought or belief that was programmed in there, consciously, unconsciously, not consciously, so then you are born into so-called sin, which is another word for the moon, but sin, which is, a, is another word for making a mistake, or you might say ignorance, because you were never born. I remember when I entered in the so-called birth, the birth canal, oh my God, I immediately just go, no, I got back here again. I was like, holy moly. <sighs> now, cha-cha. The key is, see, it's so strong. If you have even any material desires, you think that something or someone or some, it is the source of your pleasure within, you're going to lock yourself up into a sentence. It is, you curse yourself, you see. The obstruction is self-cursing, self-condemnation, and the non-condemnation of your own divinity. So you give your power to someone or some authority outside of yourself, to determine who you are, what you are, what you do, what you have. Those are concepts, constructs that are obstructions that you need to get out of your own way. So that, that's what my work is, my retreats, my mentoring, my working with people, you see, so that we get to that relief yourself of all of this, you see. And that is such a pleasure for me, uh, like one of my uh, students, and uh, she uh, did a concert at, the, um, at my place in, in Washington, uh, she and her partner, her beloved, and, and it was so cool because I knew this was her life's work, and I also knew she had to start it, just do it, not think it, not get it, but it would be the joy of her life. And when she did the performance, and in the studio, and in the recordings, and everything, she, and the beautiful songs she writes, uh, and the magic happened, because she was in her right place, in that sense of being who we are. You know what? I'm doing now what I always did even as a child, and it is always it, in nature, in the mountains, I was in the Sierras, I love this, because I, I, there's something here, and I'm when I, when truth is spoken, you know, you move forward. When it's alive, you basically you go back. You know, it's not true. Your body's instant uh, reflexology, just the way it works. And um, so when when we um, get out of our own way, and I want to get back to what I was saying, uh, the, your real your your nature comes out. And yet, what may I say? Even when we're in this reality, this the, the human reality, and, and this reality, what we really are is pure. Is we're pure love, 
And that love you cannot get. So all these people trying to get love, uh, they feel less and less because you can't get it. Or I can't get any appreciation or respect. So we're running after still something on the outside, needing something desperately that's going to finally make that person feel good. The only way is love of God, a supreme pleasure for the soul. And I'm not talking about out, out, on a God, on a cloud, on a spaceship, on a dee -dee, and on a manifesting, or on the stage. And you know, this is, this is fakery. That's a fakery. You are part of, you are with always. You cannot lose that. We're already unified there. We're unified and we're uniquely different and uni who we are. It's just wonderful. And that is, that's who you are. You can't get that. And when you think you could get it, you get less and less of it. And, you're, and, and then <sighs> blaming others. And you have to get yourself out of the way by saying, I've been doing this to myself because I've been agreeing with it. No matter how it came or how it's here or whatever the explanation, I've read research, you know, <laughs> libraries of knowledge of all of this. And is all this, and anything you could find a story, you can validate anything, you could go, but, 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 but what does that do? You, you got to be right where you are now. You have more than a library. You have more than the internet. You have more than some old big jumbo computer. They're trying to say AI is big deal here and there. You know, IT information technology, blah blah blah. Get you out here, out here. Get here. This is this is the power. And to do that, you got to get into nature. You've got to give yourself that. You see, and and it's really as you invest in who you really are. You see, you get out of your own way. <laughs>